Here we're asked to solve the quadratic 2x squared plus 3x minus 8 equal to 0 using the formula. So our first job here is to identify what a, b and c are. So the general formula for a quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c. So you can see a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of x, and c is the constant. So that means a is equal to 2 in this case, b is equal to 3 in this case, and c is equal to minus 8. So just be wary of the signs, make sure you put in minus 8, because it's minus 8 in the equation. So once a, b and c have been identified, we just sub them into the formula. So that means x is going to be equal to minus b, so it's minus 3, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 3 to b squared, minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is minus 8. And that's all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 2. Next we'll complete any multiplication, addition, subtraction, etc. So x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 3 squared, which is 9. Minus 4 by 2 is minus 8. Minus 8 by minus 8 is plus 64. And that's all over 2 times 2, which is 4. So that's equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 73 all over 4. So x is equal to minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 73, you can figure that out in your calculator, is 8.544. That's all divided by 4. At this point, it breaks into two equations. The reason for that being the plus or minus here. So we write it as x equal to minus 3 plus 8.544 all over 4 or x is equal to minus 3 minus 8.544 all over 4. So that means x is equal to 5.544 divided by 4 which is equal to 1.386 or x is equal to minus 11.544 all over 4 which is equal to minus 2.886 so that's our two answers for x. x is 1.386 or x is minus 2.886. And that's our sum completed. So if you want to have more practice of solving quadratics using the formula, here are two examples. x squared plus 4x minus 4 equals 0. That's the first one. On the right hand side I have the answers so you can check them once you're finished. Also here are more examples of solving a, f a quadratic equation by factorising. So there are the quadratics on the left and the x values you should get are in the box on the right. So obviously pause at this point if you wish to review them.